five minutes, we can leave the dock. So here we go. This is what we've waited for all weekend long, and that's that important final heat. What lane will the drivers choose? What cat and mouse game will go on before the final, before the start of the heat during this five minute warm up period? And as somebody posted online earlier today, for heat 2A, two of the best drivers made two of the worst starts oh back my. in 2A. Oh my, Dave and I were talking about that going over there. And again, you guys have seen a lot more starts than I have. It was just, it, it, things could be messed up, they sure were. Oh my. Uh, discombobulated, if you will. Ah! Oh, he's not listening. Uh -huh. Discombobulated. Jimmy Shane in and out of the pit area. He goes through around the Grand Prix course, and now he'll come and cut the infield again and go down the front straightaway. All four boats out. I think he's done that every, every time. time today. Yep. Tom Thompson comes in through and out of turn one. Andrew Tate just now getting halfway through turn one. Dustin Eccles and now Jimmy Shane. So everybody on the lower end of the course. Tom Thompson halfway up the back straight away. <laughs> Excuse me, Andrew Tate comes out of turn one. And Eccles and Shane are doing so now with 335 before the start. Four boats on the back stretch now as Tom Thompson gets up to two. Across from us, it's Andrew Tate. Just now coming up on the inside of Andrew Tate and about four or five rooster tails behind is Jimmy Shane and on the way outside is Dustin Eccles. Tom Thompson down the front straightaway. Everybody will go up and go through two and come down the front straightaway at the apex buoy right now on the inside. Here comes Andrew Tate and the officer tail behind you on the inside. U9, Jimmy Shane just to the inside of him and the Home Street Bank. And here comes Dustin Eccles in the 440. This guy has got to be extremely happy with being in a final heat. Absolutely. Thompson through and out of turn one up the back stretch. Shane and Tate just now getting to the entrance pit of turn one. Shane on the inside, Tate on the outside, and Dustin Eccles now going through turn one as well. Two minutes and 13 seconds before our unlimited final be begins. And everybody's holding pretty much holding steady right now. Thompson's gonna cut the course right here in front of us and head to the front stretch. Shane, Tate, and Eccles all on the back stretch. Let's see what happens across the back stretch. Looks like Andrew Tate starting to slow down. Uh-huh. And we'll see if he'll cut behind Jimmy Shane when he gets up here to the spot where he can cut through. Uh nope. Not gonna nope. do it. Everybody goes up to two. Tom Thompson through the infield again, and he'll come up the back stretch to catch up with the field. They'll go around one more time before we get this thing underway. Midwest Two Mills, the title sponsor of the 2018 edition of the Madison Regatta. Oh, that lane right there, that's good. Good on time. 121, 35 March. Tell Jimmy Shane, you want the inside, buddy? You got it. Well, when I talked to Steve David a number of years ago about the inside lane. Get off the buoys if you can. No one's going to be inside of you. The inside lane, and he said, well, it comes with some, it comes with a little uh, reservation. Yeah. Sometimes late one's not the best place to be. One minute to go before the start, he said, you, when you get to the first turn and you get to the entrance. Andrew's really laying back. He's and being able to read the fine print on him because there's no room for error. Jimmy Shane is going to be in lane number one as they exit turn one. Andrew Tate back about a rooster tail. Tom Tom. You can move out right now if you want to give yourself more room. Three, and I believe that Dustin Eccles will be in four. We're down to 35 seconds before the start. Everybody looks to be in pretty good shape coming up the back stretch. Shane on the inside. Tate's in lane two. Thompson's in three. We're in 27 seconds before the start. Thompson's accelerating now. Dustin Eccles is on the outside. We're down to 20 seconds. Right, 
And they fan out as they get up to two. They fan out nicely. The one, the nine, the 11 as they come off the exit pin of two. And they run to the start finish line. And here we go. Who's got the best acceleration? It'll be Jimmy Shade. He'll lead it. Let's go. Let's go. You nailed it. Come on, buddy. Let's smoke it right here. Watch life. Watch life. Watch life. Get wide on him. Get wide on him. Get wide on him. Fourth mouth. Fourth him out. Now the turn number one, but it is going to be first there, Jimmy Shane. And the U on the home street bank, rocking and rolling down in turn number one. He'll cleanly exit out of turn number one, followed closely by Andrew Tate. Tom Thompson on the outside, he's in third. Tate's actually got a little, little loose right After it, I'm not sure what happened, but keep after it. With the lead, halfway up the back stretch. Shane halfway up the back stretch. Tate now a rooster tail behind, and he got caught up in some rough water. It'll be Jimmy Shane to the entrance pin of turn one, or excuse me, turn two. Now Andrew Tate going to start to put the pedal down to the floor. Shane will come out a little bit wider out of two, come down towards the start finish line. Tom Thompson about three quarters of a rooster tail behind. One down, four to go. Jimmy Shane leads this final heat. It is Jimmy Shane by. A little over a rooster tail lead over Andrew Tate is the first of five times around. Second time into turn number one, it is still Jimmy Shane as he'll tiptoe his way through the lower corner. Comes out uh, pretty cleanly and no issues there. Andrew Tate, the same thing. Swings out a little wide. Tom Thompson just now going through turn one, but again, the front of the field, Jimmy Shane's extended his lead down to two rooster tails, Tim. Two rooster tails up the back stretch. Andrew Tate flying the nine, trying to catch up to Jimmy Shane, but Shane into the turn number two quickly. He'll lead the pack into turn two. Andrew Tate now comes up to within a rooster tail as Shane comes off the edge. Great corner, stay out here, stay out here. Lap number two, two down, three to go for Jimmy Shane. He's by, now Andrew Tate right now is by the start finish line. Start of lap number three, it is Jimmy Shane in the hometown U1, Home Street Bank, Miss Madison. He continues to, quote unquote, widen his lead a little bit. Also making it a little harder for Andrew Tate to do any catching up. He's just trying to stay out there now, so he's going to run into the 440 wicks and stay right next to the 440. Tate through one, halfway home in this final heat, and again it's still a two, maybe three rooster tail lead for the blue and white home street bank. He's catching up to Dustin Eccles, who's running in fourth. It'll be Jimmy Shane up quite tight to the pins. He's about two rooster tails in front of Andrew Tate. Now Shane will come a little tighter to the pins this time. Give Eccles and Tate plenty of room. Shane coming down, start finish line. Three down, two to go. Jimmy Shane in the home street bank. Here comes Dustin Eccles. Here comes Andrew Tate by the start finish line as they go down to turn one. Same as it's been for all, all four laps, or all three laps, I should say. Go wide, go real wide through here. And a turn number one. He'll hit a couple of rollers down there, but looks to be in pretty good shape. Tate still. Be careful, just let him go. Just be careful. All is worth, but Jimmy Shane continues to keep the foot down up the back straightaway. It is Shane Tate. Tom Thompson just completes his third lap, but again to the front of the field, it's all Jimmy Shane. Jimmy Shane, three rooster tails, and if this is where Andrew Tate's going to make a move, it's going to be right here now as we get towards the white flag lap, and, and Andrew Tate got real light on the front end going up towards the entrance pit of two. Jimmy Shane off. The white flag is out. Shane, one more lap to go for the Home Street Bank. Off the corner is Andrew Tate. He'll come. He's got one more lap to go. Well... Unless something happens with Jimmy Shane, and this will be the turn to do it because there's all kinds of rough water down in turn number one. Jimmy Shane hits a big hop, another big hop down in turn number one, but he successfully negotiates the lower corner. Tate trying to do the same. He's actually moved over a little bit on the inside to try to maybe gain some ground as Dustin Eccles completes his third lap. Thompson coming off two now to complete his fourth lap, but it's Jimmy Shane with one more corner to go, Tim, for the checker. The turn two. Andrew Tate still not giving up. He's going to not going to let Jimmy Shane just have it. It'll be Shane coming off the corner. He's coming wide. It'll be Andrew Tate in second. He's ready to come off the corner. The winner of the 2018 Midwest Two Mills Madison Regatta, Jimmy Shane in the U1 Home Street Bank. Oh, Andrew Tate with a big hop as he comes by second place finish for the auction marketing Delta Real Tracks. Jimmy Shane, you are a stud. Atta boy! Layson, give him that one too. He has one more lap to go, actually a lap and a half to go before he will be finished and 
What a start for Jimmy Shane on the inside, and if, again, if you're going to take one. That was hard to tell, really. Um, I don't know if he gave me a hip check or hit a hole, or if I was just too tight and got into his spray. Hard to tell. The video, you know. Maybe bye-bye, yep. unless something else happens, Jimmy's not, Jimmy's not going to back down. No, no, no. Past the start finish line for Dustin Eccles, past the start finish line, third place finish, finish, podium finish for Tom Thompson. Dustin Eccles will finish fourth, but he's still got another uh, three quarters of a lap to go. Yep, we're still good. Good job, Red Biscuit. Biscuits and gravy came out to play. Coming down. It is Jimmy Shane. Actually, to pop the canopy. Yes, please. he did. He's coming in front of the crowd along Vaughn Drive, and a lot of fist waves for Jimmy Shane, and he got off to a good start in this final heat and ends up with the 2018 Midwest Two Mills Indiana Governor's Cup Championship Trophy. A lot of applause from the shoreline, as you can imagine. Andrew Tate pulling it down, coming back to the dock. Also coming around to finish will be the U18 bucket list racing. Here comes Dustin Eccles down the start towards the start finish line, and he will finish fourth in the bucket list racing. Just checking to make sure we don't have any calls on the course. Jimmy Shane, your winner of the 2018 Indiana Governor's Cup, Madison Regatta, will step out, take a break, come back with more here on Works 96.7. Thank you. Nice start. Good job, Jimmy. Thank you. Jimmy, it's Big Red! There's someone got cut off. <laughs> Let him off. Hey, John. Hey, good job, buddy. Good job, Jimmy. Okay, John. Beautiful train. 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 Train.
we, we, I get the honor of racing one of the top tier boats in, in the world, and uh, it's because of all of you guys. So I really quickly want to thank uh, Optic First and Portalist my team. They uh, gave me the best equipment today, and uh, we were going to go to the race course uh, who was here to win this race. So we're, we're proud of our team. Thank you to Cindy Shirley, our new crew chief. Cindy did a fantastic job. Charlie Griffin, the team manager, he's still involved in the town, the sports community, and uh, I have to thank Charlie for all of his support. Uh, Rick Russell and uh, Midwest Two Bills, uh, what, a, what a great uh, title sponsor for this event this year. Thank you so much for sponsoring the 2018 Madison Regatta, and uh, obviously Governor Holcomb, he gave me some good luck. He got to start uh, this massive boat up uh, uh, just an hour before the final heat. So I think he put the magic touch on the starter last night. Very excited. Very excited. My wife Bianca, she supports me in and out every day, and uh, I love her so much. Thank you for all your support. Uh, my dad's here. I, I love you, Dad. Thank you for all your support. And each uh, and every one of you. Uh, I'd be remiss if I said that uh, <laughs> that one was for Dave Hoover. And, uh, <laughs> never forget Dave Hoover. And, uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you to Bob Fuse and Pat for all their support. And uh, the entire Madison Regatta Committee. Matt Screw, thank you so much for uh, running the race. And uh, congratulations to everybody for pulling off another successful event in the town of Madison, Indiana. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are all winners today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations, Jimmy. You are a champion. And to, uh, to the whole crew, what a race. Thank you to all the race fans that came down. Madison knocked it out of the park because of you. Thank you for being here. It's good to you know, get better than this when you can spend, spend a little time with thousands of your closest friends. Uh, but look, Madison is one of, uh, one of not just Indiana, but America's crown jewels. And this event is a signature event for our state. So keep telling all your family and friends to get down here next year. And let's see you another great race. Thank you all. We need all, the, we need all three of them. All right. There you go. You can do that.